Hello, I'm Robert Monroe Turner with Beaver Rocket. I specialize in Beaver Builder WordPress websites. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the new CSS functions that have been implemented on the new Beaver Builder starting with the beta 1.7. Currently, I have 1.72 installed and I used it to build my freelance website for Beaver Builder and I really enjoyed using it. So let me show you the fantastic new features that I found very useful. So let me open up the page builder here. <clears throat> and one of my favorite new features that has been added to Beaver Builder is one is layout settings and the other one is global settings. Layout is specific to the page you're working on and global settings affects the entire website. So inside this layout settings, we have a live CSS editor, and it's fantastic. It gives you instant feedback for any CSS changes that you make or, or code that you add into your CSS editor. No waiting at all, no page refreshing. It's fantastic. There's a place here for JavaScript. And for the global settings, we have a few more settings here for our WordPress website. And we have the CSS panel. And anything you put in here is going to affect the entire website. And the same with the JavaScript. So let me go over how I use part of this for, my, for building my website. So here on my home page, I have a picture of myself my name with a ribbon behind it. And I've also added this text here underneath it. And I set all of this up using Beaver Builder modules. It's not a WordPress composite image here. So the new layout settings was very, very handy in getting this done exactly the way I wanted to. I'll just put an X here to disable this CSS selector. And you can see how this ribbon area, the name, has dropped down. So this area here is a beaver heading module. And I used a negative margin to raise it up so it overlaps the image here a bit. You can see that. So normally when you're using other CSS editors, every time you make a change, the page has to refresh. And I do a lot of PSD, Photoshop to WordPress, and I have to tweak CSS thousands of times to get it margins, paddings, colors, borders, all of that. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error to get the exact CSS selector. Anybody who has any experience modifying and adding CSS to WordPress websites knows how that goes. So any time that you can eliminate any page refreshing or having to go back from one page to another and guesstimating, you really save yourself a lot of time and headaches. For example, here, you can see here, I've added some text shadow under the name here. So you can see just by adding that little X there to disable the CSS selector, you can see how instantly that text shadow is removed. So you can go in and set your colors and how much blur and offset you want your shadow and get immediate feedback. And I can't tell you how valuable this is to me as a WordPress developer, especially doing PSD to WordPress. It's, it's just fantastic. And I also have here my little rocket here going up and down as you scroll down to the page my little beaver rocket zooms up the page there blasts up it zooms up the page here so i was able to use the javascript area here of the layout settings to put in this javascript here which is specific to this page for this rocket here so this rocket here is something that I only wanted on the front page. So this global settings here was perfect for that because in the CSS here, I was able to set some CSS code where I would only have this HTML element display on the home page and not the others. So what I did here is I set it to display none. On the home page here, it displays as block. 
and because as I said earlier the global settings affects all the website I was able to make it only display on the home page I don't need to save any settings I did because I was just demonstrating what I did earlier and here we go there's the rocket going up and down and on my other pages it's not visible so there is my demo of some of the new features available in Beaver Builder thank you for watching this video